Principle and description of a transformer. Large currents in an electrical circuit produce large amounts of joule heat, which is easily dissipated and lost forever. So, sending large alternating currents and smaller AC voltages through power transmission conductors over long distances results in the loss of electrical energy. To minimize such losses, electricity should be transmitted in the form of low currents and high voltages, about 132 kV. However, most of our domestic electric appliances work at low voltages, say about 120 volts or 230 volts. Therefore, the high voltage should be decreased to a low voltage before it is used at homes. Such increase or decrease in AC voltages is achieved through the electrical device called transformer. A transformer is an electrical device which either increases or decreases the magnitude of alternating voltage by utilizing the phenomenon of electromagnetic induction. When the transformer is used to increase or decrease the input AC voltage, it should be kept in mind that the energy loss during transformation should be minimum. Therefore, the construction of the transformer should take the energy loss into consideration. Principle A transformer works on the principle of electromagnetic induction, using mutual induction of two coils. Description the essential parts of a transformer are 1. Core 2. Primary Coil and 3. Secondary Coil In its general form, a core, C, consists of a soft iron or ferrite material. This core is in the form of a rectangular frame, built by placing thin sheets of iron, one above the other. These sheets are laminated and therefore are insulated from each other. On one side of the rectangular core, an insulated copper wire is wound to make a coil of turns N1. If voltage is applied across this coil, it is called a primary coil P. On the opposite side of the rectangular core, another copper wire is wound to make a coil of turns N2. If output voltage is delivered from this coil, it is called a secondary coil S.